Hey Hooper, welcome. My name is Deanne Love. If we have not done these flow classes together, then yes, welcome. It's just like a regular hoop class. We are going to do a warm up and then we move through some coordination or some skill sets. This week I think we'll do a little bit of drilling just to like, you know, set the tone for the whole month. And then we do a flow session where we put all some like really cool tricks together. Then we have some play time and then we cool down. Now, if at any time you need to kind of stop and go back over anything, that's fine. But I highly recommend that you try to keep moving and grooving along, even if you get frustrated, even if things don't work, or even if things are feeling quite easy breezy for you and you want to kind of use some of the variations, just stay in your flow. There's also a playlist. So if you want to turn up the tunes in the background, if you have, if that's available to you, then you can get that sorted. This week we're going a little bit old school. <laughs> now for some of you that might be new school because you might be new to hooping and some of these moves that we do in the warm up and the coordination this week might be yeah super fresh and super new or they might be tricks that you haven't done for a really long time. That is the awesome beauty of hooping that we have so much on offer. So I'm using quite a big hoop. You can see it's about 100 centimeters. We're going to start on the body just so we can really come into this embodiment practice and that just means that we're letting go of all the stuff that's happening today and or has happened today or tonight or whatever and we're just coming to us to me time to now time to hoop time so popping the hoop on your waist if you are totally new to waist hooping you can do my seven day it's free seven day waist hooping uh, or you can give it a nice big flat spin and rock forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. Make sure that your hoop is nice and big, that you're not using a tiny little hoop. Otherwise, you're making it really hard for yourself. If you are, this is like, is this your jam? You just go for it. You go for it, hooper. Kind of like loosen up. You know what to do. It's like that moment, that time that we give ourselves to come into our circle. We luxuriate in this and often we can rush through it, but we're not going to do that this week. So just starting to bring movement to all parts of the body if that's accessible to you. If not, then one foot forward, one foot back or feet side by side. If the hoop drops, it drops. It's okay, pick it up, think about the posture and let's move into it. If you have been hooping for a while, you can start to bring undulation into the body, reach high, start to notice the breath moving in and out of the system. Start to notice areas of the body that feel a little bit tense. Maybe if you've got shoes on and you'd rather that they be off or if you're feeling a little bit tight in the neck or if you've just been like too top heavy in your brain today, just let that move through you. Let that energy start to shift. We can do that with the breath, we can do that with our movement. So if it's okay for you, starting to take one hand down into the front gap and one hand at the back. If your hoop is going around to the left, you're scooping with your left to the left. You're scooping with your right from the back to the front. So just really looking for space. If this is easy for you, this is, this is one of the first kind of spatial awareness moves that I learned with hooping and I just still feel so so at ease and so at home, it's like a comfort move to me. It's like comfort food. What's your comfort food? <laughs> uh, you can take it down, down, up, up, reach. So what we're doing here, not only are we moving in a coordinated way, but we're also opening up the rib cage, which is, which is amazing for shoulder hooping and chest hooping. So the thing that I love is that we can often do these simple practices, we can get in flow and flow is really focusing on something that you enjoy and love and if you're not enjoying and, lo and loving this then you can shift your focus and allow yourself that joy allow yourself that pleasure even in the simple movements or you can move the hoop onto a part of your body that does bring you a little bit more joy so let's try that now uh, dropping the hoop down to the hips maybe if that feels good for you just putting a smile on your face and enjoying this time, this time that you have given yourself, this precious, beautiful time, rocking the hips back and forward, noticing the sensations that that ignites and how you're like, yeah, this feels really good. I want to turn up the tunes. Maybe you want to shimmy, shimmy, shimmy up and you're feeling like 
I want to burst some energy out of my solar plexus, out of my middle ribs. Like I just feel I've got this power that just wants to surge. Use that, channel that energy that you feel in your body. And if you're not feeling, if you're like, what energy am I, like, I could just, it's just my head that's on overdrive. I invite you to close your eyes and just feel, are your hips soft? Or do they feel kind of tense, like there's some, some emotion or some stuff that's really locked in there. How about your belly? Can you feel that it's starting to, to soften? Oh, can you feel as you inhale and exhale, and you can be moving the hoop all over, it's okay. As you inhale and exhale, you start to release the tension. Can you feel this kind of like, maybe there's a fire in your solar plexus. Maybe your heart is a little fragile today. Maybe it's just feeling a bit worn out. Maybe it's a bit burned out. Maybe there's a lot of stuff going on that's really heavy for you right now. If that's the case, you might like to bring some movement into it, some gentle movement. If this is new for you, bringing the hoop up and down your body. We activate the movement. We activate the, the elevation of the hoop by activating movement above the hoop. Now, I know I make it look easy, but every little practice helps. So up, up, up. You can also turn in the same direction as your hoop and activate movement above the hoop. It might not happen the first time, might not happen the hundredth time. If it's okay for you, you might like to shimmy the hoop up. You might like to be going in opposite directions. You might just be standing there with your eyes closed, feeling into your beautiful body, giving yourself this time, knowing that there's no rush, there's nowhere that we need to go. We're just five minutes in. And if we rush through these, this kind of preparation modes, and this can happen at any point in our life. Let's say you're rushing to work and you've just jumped off the train or whatever and you run, run, run through the human traffic and there's a moment there before you step into your office or before you step into your classroom or the hospital or wherever it is that you work that you can give yourself a little bit of care. <laughs> But we often don't because we're like, oh my gosh, I'm late and I'm gonna go. And then like, I gotta pick up the kids and then there's no, and now I'm in traffic. <sighs> I invite you to look this week, this month into the spaces, the tiny spaces or the bigger spaces in your life where you can give yourself some extra care. That might mean five deep breaths before you step into your office before you're bombarded. That might mean pulling the car over to the side of the road safely and carefully, just taking a moment to kind of drop your shoulders. That might mean going out into the backyard and laying down on the grass or on the beach. It might mean just holding yourself, touching your body. It might mean hooping, you're here right now. Notice your incredibly intuitive nervous system. And I know I, <laughs> I do it all the time. I'll be like, go, 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 and I'll drink a coffee, and then I'll add this, and then I'll add that, and then someone's on Facebook, and then someone's is sharing this really emotional stuff with me, and it just gets more and more intense. Bring it down, let's play. Let's play for two minutes here. On the hips, where does it feel good? On the belly, give yourself that time. There's no rush, bringing it up on the neck, smiling, on the outside and on the inside, playing, loosening off, getting a little bit groovy, <laughs> whatever works for you. Ah, notice, feel that nervous energy in your body start to soften, start to transmute into pleasure, start to transmute into a gentle, rocking, nurturing, playful energy. We can do this without rush and without force, but we can do it quite quickly. If we give ourselves that time in the day, two minutes, one minute, five breaths, a big smile, hug someone, hug yourself. <laughs> All right, how are we going? Let me not interrupt you for one minute.
Okay, let that be your practice time. Let that be your remembrance that you have moments, you have pockets of space in your day, even if your day is very, very full. All right, we are going to do some drills and drills are, drills are drills. It's where we, <laughs> we go over the same pattern of movement over and over again. And some of these will be really easy for you and some will be a little bit more challenging. We're going to count and time and just practice because what this does is it brings kind of a grounded awareness into the body. It brings spatial awareness and it's always great to practice, even if you've been hooping for like a long time, it's okay. All right, so you might wanna change your hoop if your hands get sore. Um, we are going to just start out in front. We're going to spin the hoop on our hand, just giving it a shake, noticing like if this is really easy for you, being like, oh, it's a breath of fresh air. If this is really challenging for you, then finding structure, elbow in, thumb up. So let's spin on one hand, just give it a little like, hey, welcome to the party. Two hands really press the palms together, fingers together, thumbs up, and other hand. Okay, awesome. So here is the drill we're going to count. So we do four spins, one, two, three, Four, two hands, one, two, three, four, second hand, two, three, four. Then we change hands really quickly and we do three. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three. Change hands. One, two, one, two, one, two. Change hands. One, one, one. Change hands. One, one, one. <laughs> All right. If your hands are a little bit sore, give them a shake. Cool, awesome. Now we're going to do a little bit different. So on the side, we're going to push the hoop forward. One, two, three, four. Weave over. One, two, three, four. So I'll show you from behind if that's new for you. So notice I've got the structure elbow in, thumb up. One, two, three, four. Squeeze the hoop, pass it to the other hand. One, two, three, four. Change three, two, three. Change one, two, three. Three, change, one, two, change, one, two, change, one, change, one. <laughs> I don't know if I did a spin. Change one, change one. Okay, how's that feeling? Feeling pretty good? Awesome.